हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन सोशल साइंस क्लास आई एम तनुश्री मैम होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक फ्रॉम योर हिस्ट्री सिलेबस एज वी ऑल नो दैट वी आर इन द मिड ऑफ योर चैप्टर फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट द आउटब्रेक ऑफ फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन हाउ द रेवोल्यूशन वाज स्टार्टेड एंड व्हाट वाज इट्स इफेक्ट राइट इन दिस इफेक्ट वी ऑफन से वन वर्ड दैट constitutional monarchy france uh, from an absolute monarchy france transfer into a constitutional monarchy in this today in uh, today's uh, video in this video we are going to discuss about constitutional monarchy that means what is constitutional monarchy and what are the its features in uh, terms of france okay so let's begin uh as we all know that the revolution was started uh in 1789 14 july okay with the demolition of the fortress bastille right and after that with the uh, lots of in events which led to a finally uh drafting of a constitution which uh, the constitution was drafted by the national assembly the national assembly the uh, th- um, the national assembly is a place where most of the people are belong from the third state they come together and finally the king louis give them uh, the certification give them uh, accept uh, their presence and turn um, turn into those crowd or those uh, people in the national assembly right and they named as national assembly so the national assembly completed the draft of the constitution in 1791 right that okay in that uh, constitution with this with the appearance of this constitution france transfer into an constitutional monarchy from an absolute monarchy so what is constitutional monarchy from its definition there is a two words in the definition right one is constitutional and one is monarchy constitutional means some many it is something which have its proper constitution right and monarchy means the presence of the king so from its definition it is clear what is constitutional monarchy the constitutional monarchy is the presence of the king along with the constitution that means the absolute power the king not only uh, with the constitutional uh, with the constitutional monarchy king will be not the only one who is holding the power the power is divided and somewhere the power of the king was curbed down to limit his power right so the main object now uh, come to the next point the main object was to limit the power of the monarch the limit the power of the royal family limit the power of the king clear in your book the page number 10 there is a, a figure given okay it's more or less is the same i'm depicted the uh, figure here now i'll try to describe the figure okay because if we describe this uh, feature if this figure we will easily understand that what was the uh, condition of the france after become constitutional monarchy okay after becoming constitutional monarchy the power was divided into three portion judiciary executive and legislature the meaning of this three you will find in my previous study material i give you some uh, terminology regarding this chapter go through it okay judish okay so france now have uh, divided its power into three portion judiciary executive and legislature fine judiciary definitely judges are the part of the judiciary okay executive divided into two portion one is king another is a minister okay now come to the legislature the legislature is actually divide uh, actually a portion where the people of the national assembly are there okay and the legislature the power to make laws the power to make laws was vested among the was actually having the having uh, the power to make any any kind of law regarding the state regarding the country the power is in the hand of the legislature okay now just uh, discuss what is legislature I mean, what are the people who are in the legislature legislature is actually uh, a two step uh, a system of a two step the two step okay before going to that 
we are going to discuss of another portion active citizen and passive citizen okay these two terms is very important when we are going to discuss about the democracy in france from what happened actually france give the um, right to vote to its people but there are some terms and condition so what are the terms and condition that if uh, they are not giving the power to vote to all the people or all the citizen no they are restricted its voting power to some of the people the people who are able to vote are named as active citizen okay they are somehow uh, 4 million people okay 4 million people out of 28 million okay out of 28 million the total uh, the total population of the France that time 28 million and out of 28 million 4 million people are able to cast their vote and those people are the pe uh, are the men are the only men who is above 25 years of age okay another very important they have to pay a certain amount of taxes to become an active citizen okay what are, what the amount of paying uh, the tax the taxes that they are going to pay is equal to at least three days of labor wage okay so to become an active citizen to able to cast your vote you need to have qualification of paying taxes amount three days of labor wages and 25 years of age clear and rest of the people are named as passive citizen the citizen who are not able to cast their vote the people many the people who come under this passive citizen are women children and the persons who are not are not able to pay this amount of tax clear now this active citizen are actually going to vote with the vote of this active citizen, judges were selected under judiciary. Clear? And they directly select the electors. There is a section of the people who named as electors who are directly elected by the active citizen. Clear? And there are near about 50,000 people. Okay? Who are electors. Clear? Out of this 50,000 people, 750 people 750 people are become the members of national assembly am i clear so this is the structure of the constitutional system in france okay now this legislature can control the king and their minister okay and another special power is given to the king which is named as veto Okay, that means any decision or any law passed in the uh, National Assembly which is not like money, which is not favorable of the king, or which is something which king was not uh, supported, he able or he had the power to cancel it. Okay, the term is named as veto. Clear? So this is the structure of the constitutional monarchy in France. Okay. So after okay, so the um, okay, so. To become an elector, you have to definitely, active citizen, have to pay a certain amount of taxes and also you have to belong from a, a, um, a people who are economically well established. Okay, normal people who are um, not that money holding not that much economical power were not to be able to become an elector and never become a member of National Assembly. This is the trick that the France has in its own constitu constitution. Clear? So, now they prepare the constitution. So, what are the things that the, uh, that the constitution had? The constitution has uh, in the in the beginning of the constitution there is a declaration of the rights of man and citizen. What are their rights? The rights to live, the freedom of speech, and the freedom of opinion, and equality before law. This four uh, pillar uh, behind the French Revolution. This kind, this four rights are given in the constitution okay and this four rights are named as natural rights natural rights means 
you if you are a citizen of France by birth this rights are you mane you um you born with this right the state have to give you this right and state is also uh state is also responsible to provide and protect this four rights of a citizen okay so this is the structure of the constitutional monarchy which france have after its french rev after the uh, completion of the revolution okay so let's uh, get, okay so let's have a quick recap In the National Assembly, the draft was completed in 1791. Okay, in 1791, France became a constitutional monarchy. The constitutional monarchy divided the power between three: judiciary, executive, and legislature. Judiciary having the judge, which is voted or elected by the active citizen. Executive having king and its minister. Both of them are independent. but they controlled by the legislature the legislature having two um, two division one is electors who are directly elected by the active citizen and the number of the electors are 50000 clear now the vote uh, for some people and out of 50000 750 can become the member of the national assembly so the people of the national assembly are indirectly elected okay the electors are directly elected and the uh, people of the national assembly are indirectly elected clear okay and with the same thing we are having another concept of the active citizen or the passive citizen active citizen are the people who are above 25 years of age and are paying certain amount of tax to its state passive citizen women of all kind of age and children and people be, uh, below 25 years of age and the people who are not paying a certain amount of tax to its state okay and next thing that we are uh, learn in this video that the constitution what are the rights that the constitution provided to the citizen of the france mainly four rights rights to live the freedom of speech freedom of opinion and equality equality before law that means all the citizen of the france treated same to by the state okay so students based on today's video lesson i have prepared some questions for you okay write down the answer of these questions in your co history copy book and show me when school will be open okay so let's see the questions first question On which year National Assembly completed the draft of the Constitution? Question number two: How many divisions were there in the political system of France after the Revolution? Question number three: How many members were there in the National Assembly? Next question: Who were considered as passive citizens? Last question What were the qualities needed need to qualify for active citizen Okay so this is it for today's video I hope this video is helpful to for you and help you to understand the chapter in a better way okay read out the text properly because it is the most uh, what's a powerful or the most uh, informative source that you will have okay do visit your school website regularly for your updates and if you have any query or any doubts to ask me in the comment section of this video okay hope you all are well stay in your home and stay safe